The last day of the high school sports calendar, the Pontiac Indians celebrate their first ever softball state championship. Good Saturday evening, Central Illinois. I'm Patrick McCabe. The Pontiac Indians shut out the state in the Final Four after a 10-0 win yesterday. The Indians win the title game 6-0 today. Pontiac, the home team, as they battled Antioch today. Antioch got the game's first two runners on base, but Elena Krause gets out of the jam with one of her nine strikeouts. Then in the bottom of the first inning, Krause with the base hit the score. Speedy leadoff hitter Maddie Gorley. The Indians scored two in the first. The game's big play came in the third inning. Antioch had two on board when Pontiac shortstop Bailey Mashing makes the leaping grab, turns the catch into an inning ending double play. The Indians then play small ball to go up three zip. Cadence Helms, the squeeze bunt to score Krause in the fourth. Then the power slap by Maddie Gorley goes over the left fielder's head to score another. Gorley had three hits in the sixth. Krause's third hit will score two more runs and make it 6-0. Here's the final out of the game. The ground ball to Kendall Pitchford. The out at first. The celebration in the pitching circle. Pontiac shuts out their final opponents and wins today's state title game 6 zip. Yeah, I wanted so bad. We've never won a state championship in softball before and very other, like very few other sports. So it's good to put Pontiac on the map and show them that we're a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, it's crazy. This is awesome. This is what we've been working for all season. Our whole life, really. This is what you dream of. So this is awesome. We're dialed in from start to finish. We knew exactly what we came here to do and that's exactly what we did. They were relaxed coming in and they just played the game. It was a game of softball and they played it. But what they did, the softball Indians claim Pontiac's first team state title since the 1993 Pontiac football team. Pontiac, the softball champ of Illinois, and today also the home of All-Star Basketball. The annual Illinois Basketball Coaches All-Star Game in the small school girls game, Illini bluffs Lily Luskowick the drive for the North. She had 13 points. Then Princeville's Brianna Brody the strong post move. Then, later on, it was field crest. Caitlin White with two of her 10 points. But in the end, the North Stars win. Leroy's Molly Buckles buries the three. Peoria Notre Dame's Maya Wordle was the game MVP. North wins 92-71. And the big school girls games, Peoria's Aaliyah Guyton won the leadership award for the South Stars. Morton's Addie Engel, a strong move inside. Engel scored eight. Great game for Dunlap's Julia Salberger. The nifty dribble drive and finish. Later on, Salberger on the attack again. She had 18 points and led the South to a 104-99 win. On to the boys' all-star game and the small school game. Our Central Illinois stars playing for the North. Prairie Central's Tyler Curl, long three. Then later on, Eureka's Tyler Heffering for three more. Curl was named the North Team Leadership Award winner, but in the end, the South beats the North 114-108. And the finale of the All-Star Quadruple header, the 3A and 4A Big School Boys All-Star Game, and boy, was it high scoring. Normal Communities, Braylon Roman gets it started for our Central Illinois Stars going coast to coast and lays it in. Next up, it was Normal Community teammate Jaheem Weber Getting the patented law for Roman like we've seen on 25 Sports Highlights all season long. Weber again with the dunk showing off while he's going to SIUE in the fall. But in the end, it was the Metamora star, Tyler Mason, showing off the handles, spinning around a defender and lays it in for two. Then later on, he gets this one to go from distance and splashes it for the three. Mason is named the 3A, 4A South MVP after a dominating 20-point 20, 20 performance to seal the 130-127 win for the South team.